Hi econ students and welcome back. Today's topic, inflation. As we know by now, inflation can be defined as the continuous and considerable rise or increase in the price level in general. In order to measure inflation, we can differentiate between three measurements, namely our CPI, our PPI and our GDP deflator. For more information on the different measures used to calculate inflation, be sure to watch the explainer video. The focus of today will be on the different causes of inflation. Two broad categories explains the causes of inflation, namely demand shocks and supply shocks. Let's take a closer look at our first cause for inflation, namely demand shocks. Demand shocks give rise to demand pool inflation. Demand pool inflation is therefore the situation in which the increase in demand exceeds the production capacity and capabilities of an economy, in turn straining the economic resources of that country. In simpler terms, demand pool inflation occurs when our economy is producing at maximum capacity, but demand continues to increase. Demand pool inflation occurs when each increase in demand, once our economy reaches maximum capacity, will only increase the price level as our output will remain unchanged. One of the common causes of demand pool inflation is when the economy is overstimulated. For instance, if the government increases government spending, in order to stimulate the economy. Additionally, monetary policy can also contribute to demand pool inflation, where money supply is increased by lowering the interest rate. It is important for policymakers to employ expansionary policies in order to stimulate the economy when needed. By stimulating the economy, policymakers should employ a balanced approach in order to not overstimulate the economy, in turn creating demand pool inflation. Now it's time to look at the second cause of inflation, namely supply shocks. Supply shocks give rise to cost push inflation. Cost push inflation is the situation in which disturbances in production such as natural disasters or fuel prices, in turn reduce the aggregate supply of the economy. Common causes of cost push inflation include droughts, health pandemics and strikes. Due to disturbances in production, aggregate supply will decrease, in turn increasing the price level with a reduction in output. This is known as cost push inflation. So let's recap our causes of inflation. Demand shocks give rise to demand pull inflation. This occurs when our aggregate demand exceeds our capacity of production in the economy. Supply shocks give rise to cost push inflation. This occurs when there are disturbances in the production process, in turn reducing aggregate supply. In the next video, we will discuss whether inflation is a good or bad thing for the economy.